Welcome right, people on Internet. My name is Tyler and today I'm going to show you guys how to create carpet using uh, the splines generation. So what we're going to do first is we're going to grab our plane uh, and today I'll be using the square plane. You can also use the polygonal plane as well or polygonal disk. So once we have our polygonal uh, plane, what we're going to do is we're going to go to generate. We're going to hit create interactive groom spline. So now that we have our groom spline, basically what this is is just making a ton of individual planes that we can edit. So uh, we're going to focus on this XGen interactive groom editor, which will help us to customize our carpet to our needs. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to the first section called description one shape. You can change this name. This is just how it is default. And uh, you can access the settings for the width of the carpet, uh, the taper of the actual carpet, which is literally just editing how wide the top of uh, the individual planes are. And you can also customize the taper start. We're going to skip over to the scale modifier. And this literally just customizes the certain height of the carpet, as you can see. Now we're going to go over to uh, the description one base. Now this is how you customize uh, the density of the actual carpet. So if you wanted uh, a ton of carpet in a certain area, you can do that. Just make sure not to do this uh, past about 30 to 40. It starts to get really laggy into where it's to the point of you don't really need it. As you can see, this is incredibly dense. So just make sure you watch out for that. So I'm gonna bring this down to about one. Uh, we're gonna go over now to the final section called hair physical shader. Now this is where you can customize uh, the carpet colors. And so uh, this is just the root color as you can see and then you can also customize the tip color. And that's just the diffuse. You can also customize the highlight, uh, the glint transmission and such. So. Uh, to make this really look like carpet, I'm going to go back to uh, the taper and then I'm going to change the scale back up a little bit. So what we're going to need is we're going to need imperfections in the actual carpet. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a modifier called noise. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the top left, you're going to go down, you hit add modifier and you're going to go down to noise. So when you add this noise uh, function, what it does is it bends the planes and so you have that carpet uh, imperfection of uh, the individual planes bending and so you can change uh, the frequency of how much uh, it changes. You can also change uh, the magnitude of the bend so if you want to have like super crazy carpet you can do that. Um, and then you can change the correlation and preserve length as you can see. And there's a couple of their options here. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next video.